easy explain the philosophy of Margaret Cavendish, knowledge and perception. So these concepts of knowledge and perception are actually a pretty big part of Cavendishian philosophy. Um, and we can kind of take what she says about them and group them into a more broader general description of this philosophy that could be called panpsychism. And generally this idea of panpsychism, what is this? Well, we can define it as a philosophy in which all things in nature, all of nature, would be considered to possess some sort of mental properties, at least some mental properties. This goes back to the idea for Cavendish that all matter is infused with mind, at the very least this one life principle of self-motion. So we're also going to see Cavendish here equating self-motion with knowledge and perception. So I took out some selections from her observations here that kind of lend themselves to this explanation. So the first one here in chapter 31, there can be no regular motion, self-motion, without knowledge, sense, and reason. This also connects back to her idea that all matter and all mind has these sensitive and rational properties. So we're really starting to equate a lot of different principles and properties of life and matter here for, for Cavendish. Moving on to chapter 35, Cavendish says, first is to be observed that matter, self-motion, and self-knowledge are inseparable from each other and make nature one material, self-moving, and self-knowing body. Again, with the equation here of we have matter that's imbued with mind, and therefore it can move itself, and it knows itself. And these things are all starting to inform each other, right? They're starting to come along as a, as a package deal. It's just the, the ontological definition of, of her system here. Moving on to what we see in chapter 36, there is a double perception in all parts of nature, to wit, rational and sensitive. I believe there is sense and reason, or sensitive and rational knowledge, not only in all creatures, but in every part of every particular creature. So this goes into the, the idea that nature and all of the matter within nature is infinitely dividable, infinitely divisible, so no matter how small of a part of anything that you get to, it's still going to be considered matter and therefore still going to have these properties, these mental properties, these faculties of mind. Like we see sense, we see reason, we see knowledge, we see perception, and we see motion. Moving on to chapter 37, we actually have three passages here. Uh, the first one in orange, self-knowledge is the ground or fundamental cause of perception. For were there not self-knowledge, there could not be perception. So here we see that knowledge is perception, perception is knowledge, it comes from matter itself, those mental properties in matter itself. Moving on to the second passage from 37, it's a little bit longer, so I broke it up into three parts. The first part, since self-motion is the cause of all the various actions of nature, these cannot be performed without perception. For all actions are knowing and perceptive, and were there no perception, there could not possibly be any such actions. For how should parts agree, either in the generation, composition, or dissolution of composed figures, if they had no knowledge or perception of each other? So here we actually see Cavendish starting to explain her big concept, the big push for a lot of people to, the big pill to swallow is this idea of self-motion. But she's using her ideas of knowledge and perception here as an explanation for why self-motion also comes right along with them. Right, self-motion is possible for Cavendish because these units of matter, whatever they may be, the creatures also have knowledge and perception of everything else that's also in self-motion. It's kind of what allows for it to exist. And finally, one last bit that's short and sweet, all self-moving parts are perceptive. So everything is self-moving, everything is perceptive, and therefore has knowledge of each other. That's how it all works. For now, I hope this helps.